And I want to ask each of you, are you vegan? Would you prepare to, be, to become vegan? I mean, the Ecology Party started as a vegan party. Would you prepare to be prepared to do that? I know Caroline struggled with it. Um, I, I would like to see that happen. And we can leave by example. We don't say, join the Green Party, you've got to become vegan. But if we people who are at the top, <coughs> people who we see, we hear, are doing it, we can learn you know, from example. So, what's your position on that? So, change the order again. I think this time we'll go Pippa, then Remain, then Peter, then Matty. Well, um, I've been a veggie since I was 11 years old. I think it's after that protest and all that waking up political awareness at a young age. Um, and I've not eaten fish for oh, more than 20 years. I think the sort of right gave up fish today. So, uh, and I was, um, it wasn't for the climate change. I mean, when I was 11 years old, that's a long time ago. It was because of the link with cruelty, animal husbandry, killing abattoirs, and what was on that table. Um, so uh, I have tried to go vegan, and I definitely have probably, depending on whether my son's there, because he's kind of partial to a piece of cheese, but I probably have five vegan meals a, a week, and it wouldn't be too much of a stretch to uh, move on to the seven. But I've got a family and I can't just force it on them. So, um, no problem. I mean, as far as climate change is concerned, it's essential that we stop eating meat. But you try and tell that to someone who's 75 years old, you know, that they're just really, you hit a, a brick wall and it's a big conversation which I'm constantly having trying to explain, but you know, they kind of glaze over and think, oh, it takes so many litres of water for a pound of milk, you know, they just glaze over. Um, and the local swimming pool, well, obviously I don't know anything about it, so I'm not going to be mad and say, oh, we'll support everything. But I do think that one of the jobs of the leader is to support uh, local campaigns, for local campaigns to use a visit from the, uh, from the leader to um, get a bit more publicity, to get a bit more clout. So whilst there may be a million campaigns going on that I don't know about it and it may be difficult to get around all of them, I think that's really important and that's probably one of the good reasons for not being in office yourself. It means you have the time to go around to the regions and support them. Uh, swimming pool is a brings us back to a very good story because Darren Johnson was a councillor in London and when I had joined he said why don't you stand as a candidate and I said well you nearly won three seats last time what happened, who was standing, I don't want to stand on anyone's toes he said no no you'd be good, I said look who is it, I'll help out he said no no you'd be good uh, and then I found out the person who I had left and it didn't matter but I insisted that we did uh, knocking and canvassing on all the council tower blocks and that had been the first time that we started to do that and collect the information. Now, it just so happened that the mayor, who had highfalutin ideas about getting on Section 106, new swimming pools somewhere else in the borough, wanted to close down our lovely pools, that we had this fantastic campaign that coincided with me joining, uh, and we could take a very active role in that. And there were so many brilliant arguments about keeping pools open, keeping more pools open, having accessibility, that it's great. And you can do the badges and you can do great artwork and stunts and the local papers love it. And to be honest, I reckon we went from one to six because of that swimming pool campaign. So I've got all the, all the uh, information and everything to help us with that. Um, I've been vegetarian for 22 years. I sometimes say to the children, when I'm older, I want to be vegan and a pacifist. But I'm not quite there yet. I'm almost there. Uh, and I was a vegetarian three years before I even had my children. So they're vegetarian all the way through. I think we do have to be a little bit careful. There's an awful lot of meat eaters in the party. And also, we don't want to put people off. It might be that we um, can attract them in different ways. I went from the sustainability issue, leafleting about anti-McDonald's first, and the pollution thing, which had given, made me give up fish actually the year before that, because of me just feeling empathy with fish, really. Uh, and then the animal welfare, I became aware of that as I went around to more of the anarchist fairs, etc. So let's push it in different ways, generally. And uh, Kate, 
say if we hear from Peter? I'm mm. the swimming pool. I think if the other candidates are agreeable and deputies as well, um, if somebody wants to do a photo um, in the garden outside afterwards, and then if somebody wants to do a press release to say all of the leader and deputy leader candidates for the Green Party were here in Oxford and they support, the, would that be a useful thing to take away from tonight if that's, uh, that's agreeable? Um, I'm not vegetarian. I have been vegetarian in the past, um, so I'm not at the moment. I haven't eaten pigs for probably about 15, 16 years. Um, made a choice on that because pigs are smarter than dogs and I couldn't bring myself to eat a dog. Um, so it, it's a kind of thing of being, that's where my personal position is. I've had periods of being vegetarian on and off. My wife isn't vegetarian, but when we got together, she would eat any meat and didn't think about it off the shelves and you know from the supermarket. And I introduced her to the idea of, well, this is the treatment that your animals experience that you are eating. This is the life they live. These are the chickens. These are the conditions that they're forced to. And she'd never been exposed to that before. There's a little viral video that you can find on the internet called The Meat Tricks. It's a little bit of a play on the matrix. It's well worth watching, particularly if you communicate to a younger audience, as I often do with some of my students to get them to think about the issues. It's a good way of bringing across um, the ethical dimension. What are you eating? But not just that, my entire extended family on my wife's side now only eat organically farmed meat and a lot less of it, and mutton rather than lamb. So there's things that you can do, and I think we have to bring along the majority of the British public with us. And I think the attempt in Brighton to introduce Meat Free Mondays was a good one. It's, it's something that we need to kind of go back to and think, how do we try and do that again? How do we do it more widely? And it's about, for the majority of the population, getting them not just for ethical reasons, but for health reasons, to reduce consumption of meat. So that's where my emphasis would be. And I think, you know, the more vegans and the more vegetarians we've got, the better. But let's bring all of society with us, and not just the 5% that are um, there at the moment in terms of uh, already being vegetarian. Okay, so that's it. Um, I'd second what Peter said in terms of, you know, I think we should just unreservedly agree to back your campaign because, you know, uh, there's a big event happening in London that starts on Friday. I think I think it's called the Olympics. Um, and, you know, this is supposed to be the thing that was going to help, you know, in, encourage Britons to take up sport and get involved in sport. And, you know, closing down the swimming pool, it just doesn't add up. And I think, you know, we can just unreservedly support that campaign. And I very much agree with that. And in terms of the, the broader point, I think, you know, one of the things that I think Romain said was, you know, if the leader is, um, you know, a person who isn't an MP or an MEP, you know, Caroline is very, very nearly superhuman, but she can't actually be in three places at once. So she can't be in Westminster, Brighton, and here in Oxford, your swimming pool campaign or whatever. But if I'm elected leader, I'm going to have a program that every quarter I visit each region of the country. And, you know, one of the things you can do in visiting is, is coming to support campaigns like that. And that will be enough to get a bit of extra attention from the local paper, maybe the local television station, all that sort of thing. And that's something that I think you know we can really value add in terms of for your local campaigns and your local party. Um, I describe myself as an almost vegetarian, and I went almost vegetarian um, about two years ago for climate change reasons. The reasons why I'm an almost vegetarian is that um, I can't eat gluten. I can't eat bread, I can't eat pasta, I can't eat anything containing the tiniest bit of wheat flour. Let me show you, people can hide, hide wheat flour in some truly amazing places. And as a result of that, and I'm not just talking about it as a personal anecdote, but you go into many, many restaurants and the vegetarian dish will be the pasta. There will be one vegetarian dish and it's pasta. And that's a demonstration of the way in which it's still quite hard to be a vegetarian in the UK. And what we can do is campaign to make, you know, to try and encourage people to support people to have more completely vegetarian restaurants, to encourage restaurants to put more vegetarian dishes on their menu so that I can then choose the vegetarian dish as well and have a range of choices. So, you know, I agree with what Peter said, you know, we have to make sure that people don't feel, oh, I can't join the Green Party because I'm not a vegan or a vegetarian. You know, we, we want them in, we want them campaigning and supporting, and they might, you know, you might get to talk to them at conference and turn them around.